What's happening guys? Sam Adams here and welcome to a brand new episode of The Drop and there are no big AAA games coming out this week but that does not mean that there are no good games coming out this week because we have Falcon Age, a very interesting looking game coming out on the PlayStation 4 that is compatible with PSVR. On top of that, stuff like Dangerous Driving from the team behind Burnout, we've got some very interesting games to cover today so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now to kick things off this week, we have Falcon Age coming out on the PlayStation 4 and it is compatible with PlayStation VR, but the team does want to make it very clear that these two experiences, whether you're playing in VR or whether you're playing in a traditional kind of format, have been custom tailored to support that specific experience, so neither is better than the other. Both are fantastic ways to experience Falcon Age. Now, the game itself starts on a dying colony planet turned into a desert by machine invaders. Its culture has been destroyed and its resources depleted. Ara has been wrongfully thrown in jail for a minor infraction. While she awaits her fate in a lonely cell, she passes the time by befriending a young Falcon. And and together, they escape and set off on an adventure to help the Resistance reclaim their freedom and drive off the invaders. Now, one thing that's interesting about this is that the Falcon is not a companion. Like, it's not the Daxter to your Jack, so to speak. The Falcon maintains its prominence throughout the entire experience and becomes an integral part of the story and the game overall. You name the Falcon, then you pet, you teach, you feed, you do a ton of stuff with this Falcon, and it becomes an incredibly important part of the game and the gameplay overall. So, of course, as you do take back these colors, colonized sections of the world, the Falcon becomes your best friend, you pretty much wander around and save this world from destruction from the robot invaders. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, I have a pretty big hunch this could be one of the biggest and most successful PlayStation VR games of the year and potentially one of the best indies. So if it sounds like something you might be interested in, I would highly recommend giving it a look. And again, it's coming out this week on the PS4 and of course it is completely and totally PlayStation VR compatible. Next up, we have Dangerous Driving coming out on the PS4, the Xbox one as well as the PC. Dangerous Driving is a game about real driving, the sort of driving you want to do when no one else is looking, the sort of driving you'd love to do if only everyone else in the world would get out of the damn way. This game gives you the chance to live out that fantasy, to floor it in everyday cars at high speeds, weaving in and out of traffic and slamming the other cars right off the road. Take down your opponent in the adrenaline-fueled takedown races, chain your way to perfection in the heat wave, or rule every road in road rage. Switch on your sirens and apprehend wanted suspects in pursuit mode or be the last car standing in Eliminator. Players race against remorseless AI drivers in eight different event types, unlocking new deadly cars and aggressive abilities as they progress. There is only one way to drive, dangerously. There is only one way to win, take down anything that tries to get between you and the finish line. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this show, this game is developed by developers that worked on Burnout back in the day. So if there is any game that can create a game completely and totally focused on dangerous driving, I would say it's probably these guys. Growing up, I used to love Burnout 3 Takedown. I used to love Need for Speed Most Wanted. And this game blends together everything I loved about both of those games and pumps out one that I think I'm going to have to be picking up this week because it looks just phenomenal. The game looks very pretty overall, but on top of that, it's all about the way the car is crash it's all about the over-the-top action and this game absolutely nails it so if you love these kind of games as much as i do i would highly recommend giving dangerous driving a look this week when it comes out on ps4 xbox one and pc via the epic game store Next up, we have Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. The classic courtroom adventure series that has sold over 6.7 million copies worldwide is finally back. Become Phoenix Wright and experience the thrill of battle as you fight to save your innocent clients in a court of law. Play all 14 episodes spanning the first three games in one gorgeous collection, solve the intriguing mysteries behind each case, and witness the final truth for yourself. Of course, Phoenix Wright is a classic game series, one that I've never really been into myself, but the trilogy has been out for a couple of years and is now coming to consoles as well as the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty notable. So if you are into this kind of game, if you love Phoenix Wright, if you like to deliberate in the court of law, then by all means, you should check this one out this week when it launches on all consoles as well as the PC. And to round out today's main games, we have Neo Atlas 1469 coming to the Nintendo Switch. 69. Nice. We shall make our very own world map. Approve or disapprove? The choice means everything in this new world exploration simulation. It is the 15th century Europe at the height of the Age of Discovery, back when the very shape of the world was still unclear and believed to be flat. I thought that was 2019, but I digress. Searching for what lies at the end of the Earth, collecting information about the world, creating their very own world map, but only the finest admirals may take off on these adventures. You are a trader who charters a boat to take on the massive venture of creating a world map. Are you ready? 
ready to reveal the true shape of the world. You listen to the reports of admirals returned from their explorations and use them as a basis for creating a map. The reports from these admirals range vastly, from the authentic to somewhat dubious tales of monsters. Thus, depending on what you approve or disapprove, the shape of the world can change greatly. Perhaps the continents we know now will not exist, while Atlantis and Mu take their place on the map. The only finished map of the world will be a subjective world that reflects your values, and one where only that which is approved by you becomes the truth. The basic idea of this game is incredibly intriguing because it really makes you think about why we think the map of the world looks the way it looks today. Who's to say that's accurate? You know, obviously now we've seen it from space, obviously now we've seen a ton of evidence that shows that that is in fact pretty accurate, but at the same time, I've never seen him for myself, and that's where we get Flat Earthers from, but that's not related to the game. When it comes down to it, this is a cool game with a pretty cool art style, and on top of that, it's out right now on PC with relatively good reviews, pretty much middle of the road, but an incredibly interesting concept nonetheless. So if you do want to check out Neo Atlas 1469, it's coming out this week on the Nintendo Switch, and it's out right now on PC. So get out there and make a map of the world, and then start a cult online that believes the new one's more accurate. Yeah. To round out today's show, we have a couple of honorable mentions. First off, Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice is coming out on the Nintendo Switch, and Cook Serve Delicious 2 is also hitting the Nintendo Switch as well as the Xbox One. And so that wraps up this week's episode of The Drop. Of course, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to drop me a like down below and let me know what you think about the games coming out this week. Did anything catch your eye? Are you going to be picking up Falcon Age? What about Neo Atlas 1469? Let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you happen to be brand new to the show, I do upload new stuff throughout the week, so there's always something new to check out when you drop by the channel. But until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll talk to you soon, and peace.